Hey, it's Josh here. I just want to take a quick second before we get started to express our gratitude and appreciation to anyone who's listening, whether you're consuming this by download, whether you're listening on our website or following us on Instagram or TikTok, however that is, we thank you. Doing that lets us know, hey, that there's somebody out there. And as long as we're entertaining one person, then it just makes everything worth it. So on behalf of myself and everyone here at Game Rage, thank you. All right, now enjoy the show. Welcome to the dumbest smart guy podcast on the planet. This is the Central Unintelligence Podcast. Oh yeah, here we go. Here it is. This one, oh, this one's gonna be a fucking banger. I can feel it. <clears throat> you have now stumbled upon, probably by accident, what will be probably the greatest episode you ever heard in podcast history. Thank you for joining us here on the Central Unintelligence Podcast, the only podcast that has <coughs> the only... <coughs> People who are certified amateur historiologists in the entire world here, the three of us. As always, I'm Josh. I'm here with Adam. Howdy. I'm also here with Frank. What's up? And today, I know you can't see this, but just imagine the guy from the Ancient Alien show doing the thing where he says aliens when I say this. All right. Today, we're going to talk about aliens. One, one word to summarize the entire episode. It's Aliens. aliens. Fucking aliens. Jesus fucking Christ. Also. But I, I can't... So what we're specifically going to talk about today is this thing that Adam fa- well, Adam said it to all of us about... Mexico's... Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if it was an officially like sanction, sanctioned thing from the government. I think it was more of just a a committee or something... That uh, has brought forth these alien entities that were from a thousand years ago. Yeah. And enlightened us of their existence, their, I guess. their existence, and also what they are composed of, like all kinds of stuff like that. The only problem is the motherfucker that brought it to the table is somebody that has been debunked before. De- debunked before. Who has made dubious claims of fucking alien life forms or whatever? So yeah, but also there's there's also this other person that's from the navy that is the Mexican navy that is vouching right the the Mexican navy okay that is vouching for this this, but I think some people have said they haven't found this motherfucker's name in like I don't know if it's databases but just to see see if he's on web pages or yeah yeah. find. They don't know if he's actually a real person. The guy who's vouching for him. Right. The the the, the individual from the Navy. Huh. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of this. Now there's, like, more videos being leaked of... I showed Frank over here some yeah. video mm-hmm. of a guy walking through the forest, and there's an alien. And I did review the video, and it appears that it blinks, like the alien blinks. Uh-huh. So it might be alive. I don't know. But in any case, I always hate how <clears throat> when it comes to alien footage, it's always like fucked in some mm, way, dude. Always. Always. It, like it's never a clear image. It's never like, okay, dude, we have 4K fucking 60 frames per second on our goddamn cell phones that we could shoot, right? How the fuck is it that anytime something crazy like this happens, it's in a third world country where they have flip phones from fucking 2002 and they have a 3 megapixel fucking camera? And they're taking pictures or fucking shitty video, and it's just so grainy, and it looks shitty, and it, you can't tell what it is. That fucking sucks. I don't know if it's a coincidence, or I don't know if that's indicative of the phenomena is horseshit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but either way, it's still interesting that, okay, something is happening. Obviously that there's these sightings of stuff or whatever, right? 
Well, <clears throat> so far, the people that had discredited discredited these aliens have said that they're. Uh, I forgot what the exact term was. Like the Nazca mummies, uh-huh. like they look exactly the same as the 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 proverbial aliens. So I already feel like this this is going to get debunked as well. Yeah, shit. and um, which is funny because there was some other alien sighting that ha- sighting that happened during this whole Congress. Mexican Congress thing. Uh-huh. Um, so, like, now that just kind of gets thrown under the bus, because if this motherfucker is talking about, you know, aliens existing with the bodies and all that yeah, proof or whatever, and then it's just going to get debunked, and everybody else is going to say, well, this is horseshit, too. Like, this new footage of, a, like, an actual, what is yeah, it, yeah. A UAP? A U- or what? UAP, yeah. Yeah, so... Calling it now. So it's I- like, it just, it just keeps putting a fucking line down the middle of people that believe and people that right don't. so this is where this is where it's hard for me because i always like to look at okay what's the end game of all this because they're the the governments are now starting to let things out now whether they're real or not who the fuck knows but they don't do it. They don't do shit just because it's the right thing to do, or oh, we think the people should know about this. No, that's not how that fucking shit works. They're doing it for a reason. They're they're letting us behind peek behind the veil slightly for some fucking reason. And I'm curious as to what I don't know. What do you guys think the end game of all that is? Is it are the, is it just the governments are being benevolent and they think all oh, people have a right to know these things, or is it, is there something else nefarious behind it? Is there you know? I'm 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 the conspiracy theory guy, so I you know I I think that there's that there's definitely a conditioning aspect to this, and whether aliens are real or not, at the end of the day is irrelevant because I think that if you want to quote unquote bring people together and control them utterly, the best way to do that is to everyone's gonna you know, humanity will have to unite to face this alien quote unquote threat that exists and. Once we once we do that and we become one with humanity as you know whatever then then it's all borders are going to be erased everybody's going to have the same money and then there's going to be a giant government and everybody's and then the control will start to fucking like sink in and that I mean that's the end game right that's why I think the end goal is is to have total control and you don't get there unless there's some major fucking crisis and goddamn fucking aliens <laughs> that's the best fucking crisis there could be I mean it's totally unbelievable but yet if you can see it before your very eyes pro- like again the the whole project blue beam shit i think we talked about in the past i mean they can literally make shit out of thin air project it. i saw this fucking video i don't know if i talked about this about the one with the building where it looked like it was collapsing and man if that's some shit you can do with just projecting images onto things and, ma- and making people think that oh something is is collapsing like that just, god damn just imagine what they could project into the sky uh, a fucking 20 mile wide or a 10 mile wide UFO. Yeah, isn't that like the um <clears throat> was it a movie or a radio show that convinced people that oh, Yeah, was, the uh, War of the Worlds. It was HG w- Wells is somebody was redoing a I don't know if it's an audio drama or whatever it was called back in the day con- on the radio. They convinced everybody that there was like a an real alien, in, yeah, in real invasion. And everybody lost their shit even though it was fictional. But it does it didn't really matter whether the thing was true or not. It said people reacted to that. It's how they reacted. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what was important there. And what I think is important in this case or this scenario is, is that too, is how people are going to react to seeing that because you can put some bootleg shit that looks maybe like it's kind of fake, but man, if, if people believe that it's real, all bets are off as to what the fuck could happen. I mean, who knows? And, and, And who knows what the, like I said, the real end game for all this is, why are they telling us all this shit? What do you think? Okay, I I don't know why I was thinking about this throughout the day, but let's say the case is true where there are actually aliens. How do you think religious people would explain that? Because it, do you think they would say, "Oh, these celestial beings are what was talked about in the Bible and saying that they're angels or some shit"? Or yeah, I think uh, that there's some of today's them. Today's religious people are more like. I choose to believe the Bible doesn't care about this, so I'm going to say it's not part of it. 
Yeah, there's an it's aspect. not canon. <laughs> yeah, it's not canon. This is not real. Yeah, I believe that well, there's aspects of that. I mean, the Pope did say that the Old Testaments were not canon anymore. In yeah, in Catholicism specifically, they will be like, "Oh yeah, it says that in here. This is this is legit. Don't worry, guys. Everything's cool." And no, because in Catholicism, they take the fact that everything's vaguely written, right? To include, like that's how they always say, "Oh, global, um, not global warming. Um, evolution can be part of God's great plan." doesn't mean that it's against science. So in Catholicism, it's actually... At least that's what the Pope said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like they would spin it. And Catholicism's good about spinning shit in the way that benefits them. So they would spin this. And then they, they may even convert some of the aliens to Catholic, Catholics. And then they'll be like, oh, see, look, of course, duh. Hey, does the Pope make the world a safer place for pedophiles? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know, so, man. He said puppies go to heaven. I I trust the I trust the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that says puppies go to heaven, I agree with. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't I don't Hey, you don't see the Pope asking kids to kiss him on the tongue? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet anyway. Hey dude. So far, hey, out of all Catholics are one up against Buddhists right now, dude. Nobody has actually had footage of a fucking Catholic priest diddling. Oh boy, man, that's true. And we have actual footage of a Buddhist, uh, you know, the head guy, the head guy, the fucking, fucking Dalai Lama, finger, finger or no, no, tongue, no, tongue, tongue, tongue finger in a fucking kid, man. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Did not get that on my 2023 bingo card. <laughs> oh, fuck, I know, man. Shit. I, I didn't have that. I didn't see that coming. Do, what is easy? The Dalai Lama? No, not Dalai Lama. Yeah, the Dalai is Lama. That what yeah. He is? Yeah, yeah. The Dalai Lama. Fucking tongue, tongue, in tongue, a fucking tongue, tongue kisses a tongue kid. Tongue twisting. Uh, tongue banging. Wild, man. <laughs> Tonsil touches another fucking small child. Hey, man, when you sexually deprive yourself for fucking yeah, but, 70 uh, years, man, at the, same, at the same time, mouth to mouth, dude. Like that Dave Chappelle skit, yeah, mouth to yeah. mouth. God, and then the fucking the balls of him to just go, oh, man, it was just a joke. We were just playing. We were just messing. Yeah. Don't worry. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Wow. I the mean, balls. To be fair. Awful human being. Yep. To be fair. Sure. Um. On that, using you're saying that you have the Catholic priests have that one up on them, but how many uh, the, uh, what are they called Buddhist monks have been caught, have actually been caught uh, fucking kids? Zero, oh, but that still doesn't, doesn't change doesn't the matter. argument that that nobody None has of them caught are on film. Food. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying no. The, uh, but there was a lot of priests that were caught. A lot of Catholic. Yeah, priests. not on oh, video. So now we're now now we're not pigeonholing people for for uh, diddling. People. Well, no, I think, like I think because now we're splitting hairs. I think well, no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're talking Catholic about priest. one guy. You're talking about one guy, and I'm talking about the majority of another religion. Now, Catholic priests are definitely diddling kids, and the head guy of the of the is definitely is definitely this. diddling kids, and that means they all probably are diddling. Yes. Everybody's diddling kids, man. That's what everybody's happening. diddling kids. All the religions diddling all kids. Everybody has AIDS. Yeah, every and, yeah probably now. <laughs> man, what the fuck is going on? Is this is this really is this a simulation? Is that what's being revealed right now? It it might be. Is this just a computer program? And now it's like we haven't gotten the new update because our programming is being phased out of our operating system, and now shit's just starting to break down because it hasn't been updated in so long. Is that is that you think maybe that's what's happening? I don't know, man. Because because fucking aliens. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you know I don't know if there's an actual name for the thing, but it's weird. That the movies that come out are predicting what happens in the future, like George Orwell with 1984, right? Yeah, okay. I guess that's more of a more in line with the book, but yeah. And, and now fucking what's his name? It was this Spielberg or whatever with Encounters e- of the Third Kind? <laughs> ET ET Encounters of the Third Kind, yeah. dude. I mean, shit. Well, fuck. Okay, I mean, Terminator. They're, they're already well, saying that Jurassic fish- Park's fucking real, basically. So well, we're, we're, we're gonna have to start looking at the ocean because I'm pretty sure the shape of water. Oh, we're, we're about well, to have some fish to fuck. Is, isn't mm-hmm. isn't it technically true that Jurassic Park is coming back to some d- degree because man, yeah, the mammoths, mammoths they've, they they found the DNA them. to bring them back. I don't know for what purpose, but now they can exist again. So like, what's the what's the what's gonna stop them from fucking bringing other species back that we probably shouldn't. Let just just let nature do the work. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's yeah, yeah. Na- nature got them extinct for a reason. We shouldn't. We should just it. leave it there, man. Just let it let the sleeping dog lie. Well, anyways, I, I do feel the <sighs> films are introducing ideas so that people warm up to it and desensitize 
And yeah, uh, oh, I, for sure. I think Hollywood is a big. I don't. I don't give a fuck, then, dude. Uh, you can do all these conspiracy theories, then you can do all that shit. Just give me my goddamn lightsaber. Give me my goddamn lightsaber. I mean, that's true, man. Just fucking give me a lightsaber, and that we'll call it square. You can fucking have aliens come. I don't give a fuck. I'll take. I'll fuck up some aliens with a goddamn lightsaber. All right. So That'd be some shit. If they are in fact true, we'll we'll just play. We'll play stupid and yeah, yeah. say that they are in fact real. What what do you think about them? For what based on their appearance? Well, okay, first of all, these little motherfuckers are what like two they're, feet they're tall. Like, two they're like they're like hundred centimeters. So what something. what is that in American? I don't know, dude. I don't know the fucking. What is it? Hundred centimeters. Hundred centimeters. I think it's a hundred. Yeah, it's got to be like two feet. Let's just so say what is it's that two a meter? Feet. Is that one meter? I don't. Is thirty nine point thirty seven inches. So it's it's three feet, three and it's three and a quarter feet. Uh, let me see. Sure, thirty six inches would be three feet, and then plus three is well. It's, it's a yard. Three, it's like a it's yard. It's three and three point three seven inches. So it's three and a third. So it's pretty. It's like the yeah. It's not that big. Yeah, so it's like three feet. Let's just call it three feet. Let's just round it down. Call it three feet. All right. So, about, so those little what, motherfuckers are three about feet tall. What, a couple inches taller than you. Fuck off, Frank. All right. Not everybody can be six foot four or five or whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever you're down hey. to now after having your spinal fucking. Hey, you can't teach that. You can't. You no, know, I can't. No one can. Six foot tall, dude. Six foot tall. You can't teach that. He's six foot four. Five. Well, with the spinal slouching. I, I I am under the impression that we are the assholes of the universe. Oh, did these guys? A hundred percent. These guys appear to be okay. So. The one interesting thing that I was listening to for there was like this interview. The guy was, I think his name is Bob Grush, mm-hmm. the guy that's the whistleblower um, that's been talking to was it Congress about like all these alien things. Uh-huh. He didn't say a whole lot, but he thinks that the aliens are like. <laughs> inst- <laughs> I don't know why he phrased it like this, but it just makes me think of StarCraft that these life forms mm-hmm. went down a different path of the tech tree. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. So instead of, uh, like, whereas we went down the path of developing weapons. Physical violence. Yeah. They they overcame all that shit, like, whatever that might be. Yeah. Like, it's possible that they just <clears throat> never had that and prioritized, like, science and innovation to the point that they were able to accomplish what they've accomplished, space, yeah. Space travel. Well, Interdimensional I, I, travel. But we whatever. are I, the people that fucking worked on murdering <laughs> weapon, weaponization. So I'm like... Kind of like how I said about the whole... Uh, the origin of Naruto where the one guy creates energy that connects all humans together so we can understand each other. Yeah. And then he was like, nah, I can weaponize this shit. <laughs> yeah. So like... So then... Okay, so let's just assume for a minute that that's the case, right? Well, they they didn't really continue to that. Uh, you ever heard the theory about the two earths, not the two earth theories. Though. Mm. Uh, so there's our earth where we had 400 years of the dark ages where nothing developed and right. technology stood still. Uh-huh. And then there's a planet where that didn't happen. And they're so far more advanced that we can't comprehend it anymore. That that's what 400 years can do to us. Cause, and it makes sense in the sense that like, Look how much time uh, technology developed in the computer age. Right, yeah. How I'm rapidly. Like t- so imagine that. Ha- we'll if just that look at 100 years or 50. That, that would have been, four, that would have been 400 years ago that that could have happened. Yeah, dude. Okay. Where would we be right now? Great fucking point. That is. Because yeah. it. I was thinking about this or somebody made a post about how in the 1960s we, we accomplished uh, landing on the moon, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sixty years before that, we were in fucking We've old flight. West times. Old old West times, dude. So within six decades, we went from riding horses to going to space travel, or to, or even yeah. like the Wright when, brothers. The Wright brothers. I was about yeah. to say, like when when was um the the when did we land on the moon? In the sixties. The actual year though. When I think it was like nineteen sixty. <laughs> when was Kennedy assassinated? <laughs> Three. I don't know. I don't know. 60, so it's probably sixty two. Sixty nine. Got you, bro. It was 1969? Okay. Yeah, and then the flight brother, the Wright brother's first flight was in like 1900 something. Oops. I think. Hold on, there's a thing right here. First. 1906 is going to be my guess. I don't know. Well, anyways. Hold on. It's just to be to put right here. 
So the first moon landed in 1969. Okay. Oh, it keeps trying to tell me the fucking. Oh my god. My brother in Christ. All right. It now we're all going to have all gonna Google it. Hey. Oh my god, stop doing this. I'll bet you somebody listening to this has already Googled it and knows the answer. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, you guys? It's fucking right there. You fucking yeah, 1903. 1903. 1903. I was close. Okay, okay so, so in 60, 70, like, like no, 68 less than, years yeah. or whatever. We went from the first time getting a plane off the ground. To, to landing on to the fucking being moon. On a goddamn another fucking planet. That's wild, dude. So, That's wild. again, thinking that could have happened 400 years ago. And then we went from basically having, okay, in that thing that went to the moon, our we phones had, are more uh, powerful yeah, than that. This is more powerful than the entire system, including fucking Houston NASA, yeah. combined, that went to the moon. And it's, it's stronger in our fucking pockets that all of us have. Yeah. So, that was in 60 years fucking later or whatever. Now in 2020s or whatever. So, so where would we be that if this was that? And that's the years span ago. of a hundred years or 120 years, let's say. Yeah. So yeah, if they had that happen back then, and then times 400. Yeah. Where would we be at right now? Is my question. Oh shit, we we may be like you said, accomplishing space, accomplishing space travel. Yeah, well, something that we could not even fucking comprehend. You think we'd be a type one civilization by now? I think it's with possible. 400 years. Yeah, I think it'd be possible. I think it's possible, yeah. Because I think uh, we're a type four. Well, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even be a four hundred year head start. It would be even more than that because if we had this situation happen, when was the Dark Ages in like nine? Yeah, we're we're a type two uh, civilization right now. This was like in the ninth. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not even there yet. We're not even a type three. Yeah, because type three is when you harness all the resources of a galaxy, humans might reach type three in a few hundred thousand years to a million years. Mm. Type two is when you harness all the radiation of a star, humans might reach type two in a few thousand years. Mm. And type one is that the resources of a pl- that harnesses all the resources of a planet, and it's estimated that the Earth rotates about yeah point zero seven on that scale. So we we've only. Harness 0.7%, 0.7% of the resources on Earth. So we're like not even close. We're not even close to type one. We're not even close to type three. Because we haven't harnessed all the resources. Of... But I think the majority of people are close to being type three diabetics. <laughs> <laughs> type three di- diabetics, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> we just invented a new type of diabetes. Type three. In any case. So yeah, we're trying to, yeah. sorry, we're type one and we're trying to get to type two. Yeah, okay. So that means we have to harness all the power of the sun to be able to be considered a type two. The aliens are going to have to be type four. The aliens. <laughs> Way ahead of us. Yeah. But as you said, if they focused on the brain power and the smarts and the science. Or putting aside all their differences and right. just like not being a warring sure. world. Then now, that means they have to stay away from us because we are a warring tribe yeah. and we will fucking kill them. Which kind of makes a... I mean... I, I feel like I don't want to sound like an asshole. We are but assholes. We we are in the right like we are in the right world because like yeah. you would want to be in a in a in a civilization that or a species itself. that that could defend itself, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Well, it's kind of how like if okay, if you look at like Halo, right? The 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 hierarchy of the covenant. There were certain races that were that, that they didn't focus on defense like or fighting, hunters. like the hunt. Like, but then there were there were races that that's all they fucking do. The brutes. They just kill each other, and then, oh, you can take that fucking murderous force and, and put it towards it. your enemies, direct towards your enemies. That's, I don't know, maybe maybe that's how we get introduced to our place in the galaxy, uh, like in, I hate to use, keep using video games as an example, but Mass Effect, right? The mm-hmm. They had the council. When, they, when and, the whole Mass, the Mass <laughs> Effect happened. <laughs> right, yeah, and so if you have humanity. Okay, before you continue, yeah. why, why would you call the event where you discover... Travel and find another civilization. The Mass Effect. Oh fuck it. Who knows? It, it, I love the sense. game. I fucking yeah, love the game. But the name makes sense. sense. Whatever, man. Maybe that's what they weren't focused on. Who knows? Maybe it's like the massive effect that the thing has, or it's yeah, the on. effect of mass on. But like a singularity event, or something that sounds more marketable is my question. I don't know. They fucking. They, who knows? But again, love the fucking games. But. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, the, the the point of the matter, I guess, is that what if those aliens, right? They are like, hey. There's some shit out there. We found it. 
It, it doesn't know we exist or anyone else exists yet. But, but thank God of that. But, but guys, we got to find somebody that's going to maybe be cool with us to kill this shit. Because we ain't going to do it. We can't be the ones to do it. So maybe they're here. Or maybe we're the thing that we have found mm-hmm. that they found that they want to protect the whole rest of the galaxy from. Because we'll just fuck shit up. If we were mobile like they are, oh, we would 100%. If you just look at our history throughout human history, what does one fucking nation do who finds a new type of people? They immediately fucking take them over, kill them, <laughs> fucking interbreed with them, and make them slaves, right? Mm-hmm. That's what the fuck we do as humans. We, we conquer and we pillage. That is humanity in, in a very basic nutshell. We're and parasites. Well, that's what like, the same ah, we're, t- we're, in, uh, we're parasites that become the host, all right? Like, <laughs> well, that's what a parasite is, dude. <laughs> that's, but we take it over and become it. That's a parasite. Ah, whatever. Anyways. But what I was saying, like, it's funny because in Team Four Star, they were, like, making the joke about, like, oh, what do you call a group of Namekians? A, a cornucopia. What do you call a group of humans? And then Mr. Popo just interrupts an infestation. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that if... We look at that fact, right? That maybe we're not obviously alone. And if these other aliens have this huge jump in technology above us, if we look at our own civilization and our own situation, right? Stephen Hawking, I think, said it where, yeah, if you apply that same principle of how we take and conquer everything of our own history and you apply that to another civilization, that would come to find us, what, what could we expect them to do? Can't expect the, them to be peaceful. They would be the same thing. It would ha- they would have to be hostile. But, again, he doesn't take into account, I don't think, what it takes for them to get there. And maybe they are hostile against us. Maybe they don't like us. Maybe they want to kill us. But because they spent all their fucking time developing science and travel and all the shit that they've been doing... Maybe they never really focused on fucking making weapons. They didn't go the other side of the tech tree. Maybe they didn't even know. Maybe weaponry to them is not even a concept that they even understand. Maybe killing each other is something that they've never even thought of. Like like having psychic abilities and that's how they fight each other. But we're too dumb so it doesn't affect us. So it doesn't affect us. We're, it's it's like the Yuzong Vong from Star Wars. Yeah, They're unaffected by the fuck. Force. Yeah, yeah. There's, like or uh, or those fucking what is it? The orcs or whatever from the thing where it's like, oh yeah, they War could Hammer? just yeah, they could just fucking be like, oh, we're a tank, ha, 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 or whatever. <laughs> they could just. I just think <laughs> no, it'd be like that Indiana Jones scene where the aliens will come, <laughs> just shoot them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah and, and and wouldn't that be some hilarious shit to level the playing field? This super advanced civilization that should theoretically wipe the floor with us, man, their shit is ineffective against us because we're too stupid. We haven't we haven't unlocked the higher plane of consciousness for them to fight us on yet. So the, then we just kill them with kinetic weaponry. Okay, the one thing they do, if they do exist, is that they've accomplished interdimensional travel, right? Yeah. Well, in, interplanetary. Travel. Interplanet. Interplanetary. Maybe interdimensional. Who knows? Yeah, they could be a creature from another dimension. For all we know. Okay, one of, one of, one of two things or both. Yeah. But in any case. They got that on us. Yeah, they do. But they're also, they appear to be but munchkins. If they, if they like, can't defend themselves well, against us, that's one of we the can things. torture it out of them. Well, yeah, that's I, one of the things is humanity, we're bullies, right? So, <laughs> so if we were to take this little guy, this little nerd, right, and say, hey, nerd, you invented fucking interdimensional travel. You better fucking tell me these secrets or I'm going to fuck you up. Bitch, give me your intergalactic lunch money, motherfucker. <laughs> Guess what? They're going to hand over that intergalactic lunch money. And we're going to be traveling the stars fucking shit up. It's like, yeah, because there's going to be two types of humans. Humans say, hey, give us this shit so we can go fuck up your people. And there's going to be the other ones going, um, I don't think I could be complicit in interspecies homicide. And it's like, okay. And then the other humans are going to be like, you're either complicit in a homicide or the victim of one. Choose now. Well, honestly, to me. We will kill, we will kill each other over this, too. To me, that. Killing aliens is the best thing that could fucking happen to us because no, I think the opposite is true. No, no, we need to well, have. Let me finish this thought. I think well, I'm no, this. <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, you fell in the water. It's coming. Go ahead. No, because I know where you're going. Can I, finish? can I finish? Can I finish? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm finished. finished. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if if we look at killing aliens, right, that could be the best fucking thing because. Then none of that is legal or illegal. It's not illegal. It hasn't been outlawed. We can kill things from other dimensions that no one's going to jail for murdering aliens. I think we should fucking definitely get on the killing aliens train. 
that's, I mean, again, I don't know. I Maybe I'm biased because I just, you know, want to fucking kill things, I guess. I don't know. But I don't see where the harm is in us doing that to the aliens and saying, hey, I mean, I fuck see the, you. I see the harm if they come peacefully. Sure, sure, sure. If they want to be buddies, all right, we should That's hear them out. That's what we do. We need to send out stoners to smoke these guys out and find out if they're down or not. And That's what, true. What I, what I mean by down is that if they're chill with humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to send our best, which is which means we have to send Joe Rogan. Yeah, we need to send Joe Rogan. <laughs> all Joey our best Diaz, pod smoke. We gotta send. We gotta send Dave Chappelle. We gotta send. We gotta send Eddie Bravo in case they do jujitsu. They can yeah. fucking roll them up. Yeah. All right, but we need to send all our best pot smokers to make sure they get smoked out and they're yeah. chill and, they're and cool. we know what they're what they're capable of and what their motivations are in a non-hostile environment. We don't want to come at them. With fucking, you know, generals yeah. and shit. And and <laughs> honestly, though, back to the little thing, though, I think that, that that's what humanity is to them. It is one of two things. We are either the ones that they are looking to for, for protection. Again, or, dude, again, dude. Just like you said, to go back to Mass Effect, yeah. or the Krogan. Right, yeah. I mean, they, <laughs> they, they fucking put a, put a restriction on breeding from us <laughs> so that we can't produce because we're so OP- that no one could defeat us. Co- Krogan are like the little goblin dudes. or like the weird no, chicken McNugget. They're, they're no, the they're like tanks. the giant fucking turtle looking guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll show you a photo of them. So uh, that's what I think we are. We are either the protector that they're hoping that we will be, be nice enough to help protect them in exchange for giving, giving us their technology. With the sixth grade education. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> or. Yeah, that. that that dude. Those are like eight feet tall. Yeah, they're about eight feet tall, man. Oh, I thought they were like little. Oh, no, no, they're giants. Thing. Yeah. Or we are the ones that they are trying to protect all the other species that don't from. have that f- yet from. And <sighs> if they fuck up, if that's the case, and they are trying, we are the ones that everybody is is scared of. Man, what a fucking position that puts us in. And man, if they fuck up, mm, I don't know about that because you know how that goes down at risk. Where everybody sees the threat and everybody goes after them, so we can't yeah, make but, ourselves but the threat. In no, that, no, well, but in that scenario, everybody has equal arms. In this situation, you're saying that if they don't have weaponization like we do, right? Then it's not an equal equal playing field. They yeah, get, sure, they could teleport around and fucking evade us if they wanted to, but it's that whole thing of, oh yeah, you could be super quick and fast, but the second they get a hold of you, you're done. You're getting you're getting murdered. That's that's what would would end up happening is if they came and then that's the other thing if we were a threat right if we were a threat and they had the means to take us out we'd be dead why haven't they already done it they would have done it by now if they had the means and the capability to do it so either one of two things is true either a they have the means but they're holding back because they want to be buddies with us or two they do not have the means and that that tree leads to either because they want us to help them and protect them from something or they are trying to block us from getting out um, for into that, the universe, and that is the worst case. And if that is the case, they shouldn't be monitoring us because we're eventually we're eventually gonna find them. Well, I mean, we probably already have. Yeah, I'm just saying we're eventually gonna find them. And then if all these fucking videos of the fucking UFOs and shit, eventually humans, yeah, we may not be as smart as them, but we can we can fucking adapt. And once we realize, hey, this is we're- possible. We're going to figure out how it's possible. We're now. already figuring this shit out. That, that show, it's a fucking bootleg show on the History Channel, the, the, the Skinwalker Ranch show. Yeah. They basically have kind of almost proven that, that a wormhole, a functioning wormhole exists over that fucking ranch. And that's what's causing all this fucking phenomena to happen. They've kind of plotted it out. They've, it's taken them fucking four years. But they've already basically kind of proven and shown with all the experiments that they've done that there is an anomaly there that is shaped like the Einstein rosin bridge fucking theoretical of what a wormhole looks like. That was like the finale that they showed of the this this latest season, which I think they filmed last year. So this season that they're filming now, I can't even fucking imagine what they're gonna do testing wise to try to like prove this fucking thing exists um, even further. But that's we're already fucking piercing the veil of of this shit and. We theoretically, those guys haven't even been in contact with these quote unquote aliens, right? So if you think we're doing this on our own, all right? Yeah, we may be dumb internet intergalactically or whatever as compared to other species. But it shows species. that it's possible. But we'll- humans have one thing that I think a lot of fucking maybe other, well, I mean, 
other animals within our own society don't even have, and that's a fucking tenacity and a will that is just unfucking breakable. We as humans hunt animals to death by literally running them until they can't, until their heart until explodes. Exhaustion, yeah. Like that is how fucking tenacious and fucking ferocious we are as humans. Oh, your greatest weakness is that you're faster than me, but I can out, but I can yeah. run for longer. Yeah, so sure. I'm gonna exploit your your strength. To my advantage. And turn it into your weakness. Yep. And that's exactly what we do. And if we do that and apply it to our en- this enemy, if, if they are an enemy, if even if they're friends, and we apply this to them, man, we sure might could fuck their shit up. And maybe a lot of this technology that we're getting and that we've seen this jump in technology, right? A lot of people theorize that, oh, man, it's come from fucking aliens or it's come from whatever. <sighs> I don't necessarily think that's true. I think that this is just the point in, in humanity where we have now become exponentially, it's that exponential expansion, right? So you have the one, it times by two, and then that times by two. But really, every time you're times it by two, it's, it's increasing tenfold or whatever, right? So Well, it's increasing. It's exponentially, exponentially right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. So like, it's exponentially increasing. So that's where we're at with technology now as, as, as humanity goes. And I think that, since we've reached that point, we're going to get to the time when we start to lift the veil into things that we would, we've, as we've talked about before. Well, don't we need, don't like, there's things that we need to get to the next level, right? It's like quantum computing. In sure. Order yeah. To- there are, there, are, there are steps along the way that we need to hit milestones that we need to hit, I guess, along the way. Right. And now again, I'm just an amateur astrologist, so I'm not like a science guy. So I don't really know what those things are exactly. But yeah, quantum computing is one of them. There's talk that there are, that the, the, this exists now, that quantum computing has yeah, been figured out. It does. I mean, well, I mean, is it functional? I don't know. To, like for us to use to solve like really big problems that would take fucking a millennia to figure out. Right. I don't know if we're there yet. We just know that quantum computing exists and uh, that, in that's its a, that's infant a, stages. Yeah. I mean, in its earliest forms. And as humanity has shown, it's only going to grow exponentially from there. Once we got the process going, it just explodes. That's what happened with fucking the microchip. That's what happened with flight. That's what happened with fucking pretty much everything we've done throughout history. Once we crack something, we... We fucking... Ex- it, it, it exponentially progresses. That's what they're saying. Like, once we crack quantum computing, we're not... We're going to change... Everything's going to change. Yeah, and I, I think that's true. And I think that if these aliens, so-called, quote-unquote, whatever they are, are monitoring us, it's likely to monitor us for these milestones and to figure out, okay, well, we can't really fuck them up, but, hey, guys, maybe we're going to, maybe they are, I don't know, maybe they're developing something to fight us with. Who knows what it is, if they, if they are an enemy. But now they're looking at these milestones that we're reaching and saying, okay, guys, we got to hurry up on this thing because... <laughs> Because they're, 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 they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Yeah, we haven't built nukes yet, yeah. guys. Fuck. Yeah, guys. Why, how do we? We've seen how they do it. Why can't we fucking reproduce this, guys? I like the idea. Okay, we did it. We finally have nuclear weapons. Cool. They already came up with the countermeasures for nuclear missiles. We need countermeasures for their countermeasures. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and and that's what people, especially about the American industrial fucking co- military industrial complex, dude. If you put a problem in front of it that's a, that has a military solution, they will fucking find it out, and they will make it quickly, efficiently, and it will be fucking awesome. And if that problem is, hey, man, we need to fight these assholes that have this technology or that we can, uh, I don't know, that can fucking teleport our missiles and put them somewhere else if we shoot them at them. Oh, all right. Well, we just invented this material that can't be teleported by anything. or well, Whatever the case is, right? I'm, I'm not using it as a hypothetical. But they will fucking figure it out, and... It will be some ridiculous monkey fucking monkey wrenched shit that's like jury rigged together. Yeah, it'll and be stupid. Actually. It'll be the dumbest shit. But those aliens will be so fucking smart that that's their weakness. They never thought that something so stupid could fucking work. And that's probably exactly how it'll go down. I think we just got to extend our hand and do it Darth Vader style. Join me and, and together, together we yeah. can rule the galaxy. We'll take the best of their space travel. We'll take the best of our weaponry. Yep. weaponry and, and we'll combine, and we'll combine it together and yeah. be the, the galactic empire. Yeah. Honestly, that's the best move right there <laughs> for us is to just become the American galactic empire, right? You ever watch this? Uh, oh, I, know you, I know you have, but uh, there's a show called Stargate. Yeah. 
And in it, there's the, you know, the greys, right? The gray aliens. Yeah, yeah. So in there, they're called the Asgard. And they're like the, the, one of the most advanced beings in the entire galaxy. And they come to the humans in one of the episodes. Hey, um, we need your help. Because what's, wait, what do you need our help for? It's like, we ran into a problem and we don't like, we lack the core, the core, whatever, cortex functioning to be able to see this at a different angle. You need us to, you need us to be able to see it as a dumb way, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're too smart to see things in a dumb way. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So, you know, I just said the American Galactic Empire, right? Uh Okay. Game Rage. Remember Adam said Gamer Age? It's the Gamer American Galactic Empire magazine. All right. That's what this is now. (laughs) That's the new name. All right. No, I don't know. It's fucking... I saw that after the reason. It's funny. Cringe. Shut up. Fuck you, Adam. (laughs) At least I'm thinking, kind of. I I just... I think think we come peacefully. I I think we come with the peaceful approach. Uh Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, as long as they, if they come peacefully, we should meet them peacefully. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, if they come to us hostily, we shouldn't come to them peacefully. The only thing is, that's a fucking gamble of a fucking interaction to assume that your your counterpart is going to be well, cooperative. I mean, that's always, one, that's and, always like a really great part in like with sci-fi movies where when humans and aliens have that first contact... And you don't know how things are gonna. Well, we know because we see the we see how the movies turn out like this. We just but like but like in Mars Attacks, where you're you're just trying to you have that suspense where they're both meeting. Like we don't know what to do to make sure we don't offend the other party. Um, what's it? You ever seen that? It's an animated movie called Monsters vs. Aliens. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, what's his name? Stephen Colbert is the president of the United States, and he's like the the ship lands and like. He's just taking these slow steps up to it so he can talk, like, you know, to talk, like... Yeah, yeah. It's a great suspense. Like, that suspenseful moment when contact is being made is always a good part in science fiction movies. Yeah, it's also the most dangerous part because that's when everything can go wrong or everything can go right. It just depends. Like, you have no fucking idea. Because, again, you're two civilizations that theoretically do not speak the same language, right? So what form of communication is going to be taken? What... If they speak some weird version of English that maybe a word in our language means something super offensive to them in their language, and think, then yeah. just hello. What if hello means go fuck yourself in their language? I don't know. Was it like in Rick and Morty? He goes, peace be oh, among yeah. you. And yeah, yeah. It's flipping them off. Peace pipe, dude. It's going to be marijuana. It's Everybody's going to smoke it's, fucking gonna be uh, one person peyote. There. Yeah, it's going to be Dave Chappelle. He's just going to go like this and extend it to the aliens. If you do not accept the hit, you are the enemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then we will annihilate you. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I don't know. What else you guys got? Um, shit, man. I don't know. Fucking aliens. I don't know what. Uh, so I think there anything- the oh, the reason that people were saying that they're three feet tall is that it's potentially that be- because they're the gravity on their planet is so much more dense. I guess. Okay. Is that is that the appropriate word for describing it's gravity? Heavier? Like it's heavier. heavier? So that so compresses that, them and makes yeah. them smaller. Or you, you can say the gravity, the gravity is, is greater there. Yeah. So then, if they were to come to Earth and they're even though they're three feet tall, would that mean that they're super strong and super? They'll be super fast too. It could be. It's the whole Dragon Ball Z thing because the Saiyans Superman. are on a planet that has well the ten times Earth's gravity, and so when they get here, they're automatically stronger. Man, so what? But wouldn't interstellar like you know extended interstellar travel? Make them well. It took the Saints a couple, was it like three months to get to Earth? So I don't think it's long enough for muscle degeneration. Okay, because I was gonna say like you know how people in the ISS when they when they're there for I don't know how long. Oh, let's yeah. say like six months yeah. to a year, they come back to Earth and they're weaker. Their bones are all fucked. That's true. But if you they lose muscle mass, and if shit, theoretically, yeah. right? If if I'm assuming that you've mastered intergalactic fucking travel, yeah. okay, you did, probably have figured out how to avoid I, that. How does that work though? Because you're technically traveling through time, right? So well, does that mean okay? Does that mean like there's a bubble around you? So like, so here's the, here's the, no, no no okay. So here's here's how the wormhole thing was explained to me. Was you basically have the oh, wormhole, oh, oh. which is. There's two 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 points of the wormhole and then the little bridge or whatever it's called, okay. right? Mm-hmm. So this wormhole is over here, and it's let's say the other wormhole is over here in another galaxy, yeah. right? So all mm-hmm. it's doing is taking those two points and in time it, and yeah. folding it on itself. So, however, you are traveling theoretically because of the way time works. You would technically, if you're traveling closer to the center of the 
where the Big Bang was, I guess, then you would be traveling back in time. And then if you're traveling further away from there, you would be traveling to the future in, in, in time-wise. Yeah. You're changing locations, but you're also changing time as well. Not, well, not changing it, but your time, would, you're not going to be, okay, say, say you're in the year 800 there. Well, it's definitely not going to be that. It's gonna, this is going to be like a long oh, time ago in a galaxy far, far that, away. That is fu- that's, that's fucking strange. It's fucking mind-blowing, right? Like, my saying, brain can't even really comprehend Because you're saying that. like, in, like a, a, a body of water, like each yeah. ring is like a, a year or like a yeah, light year, right? right. So like we're, you know, 60 billion light years away. Right. That's how far we are in the future. But if we travel back in time, we're actually going distance and time or space or whatever. Yeah. And saying we're in like the year, light year, whatever, zero or 300 right. or some shit. Yeah, or whatever it is. It's well, like, like Also, the whole thing about, um, so if you travel at the speed of light, well, it's impossible to travel at, so at point nine 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 the speed of light, uh-huh. um, 10,000 years can pass in standard time, like here on Earth. But for you traveling those ten thousand, be like ten seconds, ten minutes. It would be ten years. Ten years. So you can live a ten thousand years in a ten year span because you're, because time dilates when you're traveling at the speed of light, and this was something that actually that was actually proven. Uh, they they had they had two people with um, watches, mm-hmm. and they both synchronized them on land. Mm. One guy stayed on on land, the other guy went onto a plane and flew it at supersonic speed, for whatever amount of time. And when the plane landed and they both came back to their watches, the guy who was on the plane traveling at supersonic speed, his his watch self, uh, went through time dilation at the exact amount of time that Einstein theorized would be would happen at the speed of what would happen. So his theory of relativity was proven that way, or I think it's the theory of relativity. Mm. So both watches were no longer synchronized. The one on the um, the supersonic jet was actually behind and. The one was, you know, going normal. So it shows that the one on the plane, just by going a little bit faster in the sense of supersonic compared to speed of light, yeah, was enough to cause the time dilation. So then, basically, every time you get on, well, not every time you get on an airplane because you're not traveling at supersonic speeds, yeah. but I mean, you are kind of time traveling by the sense of human, right? Because we created time zones, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's I don't think a jet. I mean, I think maybe the Concorde could have done it, but I don't. The Concorde can't travel at supersonic speeds with. Passengers, pa- passengers. I don't, I, I don't know enough about the concourse. That's interesting. You, you know, while we're on that subject of that that thing you were talking about, like if you were closer to the Big Bang, yeah. that that would be closer to like the beginning of time itself, right? Right. Or whatever. Yeah. You know how stars or like uh, galaxies are kind of like the or stardust is. How do I word it? Stardust what, 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 shiny. What, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know how, like, we see stars or, like, the deaths of stars, and it's already happened? Like, we see right. it. Okay. Like, yeah, that, yeah. that shit trips me out because it makes me think, like, what if what we're experiencing has already happened and we're already dead? And we're just, like, being, we're just we're a projection sh- of, like... Of that? Like, in the same way that stars are, like, what we see is just right. something that happened, like, a thousand years. Like, that star exploded way back right, like, right. What, if, what if like humanity is the same thing dear what if like existence is the same thing we're just a projection from something that happened like oh that could be well yeah. like okay if you look at okay it takes light travels at the speed of light it's eight minutes from the sun to here right so yeah. if the sun exploded we wouldn't see it till eight minutes later after it exploded mm-hmm. because of you know that's how long it would take the light to get here for us to see it yeah. explode well, so i think the uh no no never mind that's stupid well, anyways, the, so so yeah, like what you're saying is you're looking at okay, yeah, like now that. You, now you said what I was thinking. Was oh, stupid. well, no, no. What what the what they said in uh, like that galaxy? I think it's Betelgeuse or one of those fucking galaxies is supposed to explode or whatever. Or stars are supposed to explode. We're supposed to see it go supernova, yeah. and it's it could they say it could happen anytime. And what they're saying is that technically it's already happened we millions said, of years ago. Yeah, we millions. Yeah, right. But yeah. we're not we're gonna we're not seeing it happen until now because the light doesn't won't get here. Mm-hmm. Until then, so we're gonna see an event. We are literally watching an event happen that happened a million a million years, years ago, or however long ago it was. Yeah, that it took for that light to travel here. I guess the more appropriate word is that, like, what if existence itself, like, here's the Big Bang and here's the end of all existence. Yeah, and like, 
existence itself is in the middle and it's just a flashpoint. Like that that would be fucking wild, dude, if that actually is the case. Yeah, something like jumping around my head right now. Like so we talked about how if something travels at the speed of light, mm-hmm. it slows down. Yeah. So what does that mean for the light that's traveling at the speed of light? Is it also sl- slowing or um, going faster than or like experiencing time All right, differently? Let's think about this. Yeah, it is because, okay, light, okay, it exists when it's created or whatever. And then when the energy of it dissipates, it goes away and it's no longer there, right? The light is gone. Yeah. So the, the light from the sun travels here to the earth or even the light from, let's say, a fucking explosion. That light that's hitting us has existed for a million years. Just, but that's it. It existed for a million years. Just travel, so, travel well, just by years. Kind of like what Adam says. What if we're just the projection of what's already happened a thousand years ago, and we're the projection of the light traveling, however, to fucking wherever it's going? This, that's what existence is. Because then that means predetermination is like it exists. Because then like, this would have already everything. Every, that we everything done is already, already is already in motion. Like it already has happened. Right. Or, I mean, they've also said that, like, we are, we now have the computer technology to build a complete full simulation of the Earth and its entire history and future. Which, and it would be indistinguishable from fucking real life. Yeah. So we could also just be in a simulation of that. We could be in a simulation in the actual light that's traveling from. Who knows what the. Ex, what the so we're, we're a simulation within a simulation. Yeah, I mean, really, fuck, who knows? Who yeah. knows what it could be? I think, I think the, the fact that we're able to recreate things with, like, artificial intelligence to create a simulation of, like, an, an image. Like, if we were to take a picture of, like, Al Gore. Yeah. And we could do that with fucking AI technology, then we are capable of creating simulation. But doesn't that also mean that simulation has already existed because it's an idea that came out of the ether that fell into humanity therefore it is already right. it has always existed yeah so is it is the potential for humanity humanity to be in a simulation itself possible yes because it's it's already been done before we did it so true. therefore like it has to exist in other yeah. things no that's true man that's fucking wild to think about right nightmare fuel yeah basically. existential crisis existential crisis man if you weren't having a midlife crisis now you're definitely having one later yeah fuck man like i don't know just just think about that for a second the the implication of if any of that could be remotely true right and this is either a simulation or it's a fucking whatever then truly what becomes the meaning of life i don't know is there one there wouldn't be one then and then that goes to say, okay, if we're just the if we're the projection of the energy that's traveling, let's say throughout the universe, right? We would just repeat our lives and our, the entire history of the world over and over again for every moment until eternity, until the light goes out. That's basically it. You're just replaying. It's just a well. It's just a rerun. How does that shit work? Because then let's say the world act like the existence ends, right? So there, whatever caused the Big Bang it took some amount of energy. Does that mean that there is going to be the same amount of energy when the world starts over again? Like for it to pull well, from nothing well, and then make it... we're supposed to go through the heat death first. Which is when the energy... Because right now the the energy is supposed to go so out. So it's expanding, yeah. Yeah, so once it stops expanding, it's supposed to be receding. And then it, and then it just it <clears> just tracks. literally collapses in on itself and does the same exact thing and explodes out again. Yeah, like but that's... before before that even happens, we'll all be dead from heat, what's called heat death, which, which is something I learned in... Um, he tracks go out, uh, actually. Mm. So, you know how we're made of molecules? Yeah. And there's the neutron, there's the proton, and around there are electrons. Mm-hmm. Electrons move at an insanely amount of speed because they have so much energy. So they're spinning, 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 spinning. So the less energy something has, the colder it is. So something that's spinning at a... Ra- it makes sense. It's spinning rapidly. It's going to have a lot more heat. And heat is a form of energy. Yeah. So the way we can see electrons is by cooling it, by f- slowing it down. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. I think you're time oh, three. You got oh. enough? Wow. <laughs> um, I'm <professional>. So <laughs> as you cool it down, you can start, they can start to see, you can start to see electron. You can actually see the electron molecule uh-huh. as it starts spinning around the proton and the neutron. Yeah. When it completely stops, which is called, um, 
to subcool or not subcool um uh super heat and subcool are the hot is the hottest and clo- cool. coldest temperatures according to physics the most possible way of both extremes okay the only way an electron is going to fully stop is in subcool when it's the f- coldest it could po- possibly be. That's the complete lack of energy. Which is like suspended animation. No, it, no. Suspended animation means you're still alive. If there is no electron movement, that's it. That's the end of it. There's, okay. there's no energy. If without energy, you're dead. Uh. And so that's, that's one of the things we learned about. So that's how heat death is going to work. Once the energy recedes, there's no energy no longer providing us. And there's no way for humanity to, or anything to survive. Mm-hmm. Without energy, so that's the whole theory of heat death. When that's why it's called heat death because without energy, there's no heat, and heat is energy. Hmm. So the absence of heat would just we, I mean, if there was like a temperature, it'd be below zero or nothing. Uh, no, like sub sub or superheat and subcool. I think it's no subcool. That's air conditioning. Mm-hmm. Superheat's the I can't remember what the actual term is for for. I mean, it's called super cool for now. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that is literally it's it's what physics says is the most possible of both of both extremes. Yeah. But we are not capable of producing either side of that. Yeah. Um, like, let me see what the actual temperature is because it's like a, an insane amount of temperature difference. Interesting. Please. Isn't well, absolute zero though? That's, that's what it is. is that what it's called? Zero. Yeah. Because that's when like it's literally so cold that it or the absence of heat is the more yeah. appropriate term i think right yeah phrasing it's so there's so there's void no heat of, so void, void of heat, heat yeah, that negative. all molecules stop yeah moving. that's the coldest oh shit that is more devastating that sounds more terrifying than like <laughs> we'll be dead yeah. before that even yeah oh, yeah for sure but just even but thinking neg- about it yeah yeah it's negative 460 degrees fahrenheit oh shit which is uh zero degrees kelvin or negative 273 Celsius. Well, you know, who gives a shit about Celsius? Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Fuck those guys. And then um, superheat. Was it superheat or absolute? No. I don't know what the inverse of that is. I don't think it's absolute. <laughs> absolute, absolute million. <laughs> <laughs> I should know. I went to school for this. Like, it's called, it's, you know what it's called? They call it the big hot. That's what it's called. <laughs> the big hot. <laughs> the big spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Carlos Spicy Wiener here. <laughs> <laughs> what are we at in time? Uh, fifty six minutes. Oh shit! All right, you Man. guys. You think? Yeah, you guys so think cool. Oh damn! You think we can juice another four minutes? Well, Fuck huh. yeah, we so can. You can. See how the the other end of absolute zero uh-huh. is uh, one hundred million 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 degrees Celsius, and it's only negative two hundred and something. Negative four hundred and sixty degrees. Hmm. But negative or positive one million 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 gets you the the in the other end of that scale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the temperature is 2 times 10 to the 12th power. Fuck. That's a lot. That, it's a little That's a lot of zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, what would that actually be in like a real number? Because, like, you know, there's like quintillion think, and septillion and all that shit. I don't think, like, if, when you stack millions upon millions, that's when it reaches the... That's when it's like the... To the 10th power yeah, the, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, or the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they start adding those little tiny yeah, numbers yeah, on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, you got it. That's how you know that shit's too big. Yeah. Like you you, I think if you try to put it into a calculator, it literally just gives you an error code. Fucking or A. Or blows up. And I think that's where quantum computing would come into play, yeah. is that it would give you those calculations. Yeah, it'd be able to do that. Those that's types of calculations. Again, you know, say, like, once we crack quantum computing, then it's going to change everything. I imagine it would. But I'm not smart enough to know. Well, just, if just we imagine, survive. Just imagine, with quantum computing... What porn's gonna look like? I knew you were gonna fucking say that. I was like, every, I was gonna, every fucking episode, I was gonna cut you off and say pornography. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying, every fucking what the episode. Fuck could that four, be? Di- four dimensional women with titties on all angles. Like they are inside <laughs> of you at the same time you are inside of them. I don't know, man. It's gonna be fucking crazy. That's all I gotta oh, say. Man. It's gonna be a fucking shit show. It's gonna be like that movie uh, with that guy Pinhead. Uh, what is it called? Hell oh, Hellraiser? Hellraiser, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like, oh man, you you won't even, you can't even begin to understand the horrors or, or yeah, the man. pleasures of like what it'll, sex will it'll be, be like. It'll be that meme that says like, I have lived to see man made creations beyond my imagination or whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> fuck yeah, that's it's wild, man. Quantum computing, get yeah, ready man. for four D porn, dude. Four <laughs> D porn. Get ready for fucking interdimensional porn, man. Yeah, that's oh, that's man. what that's gonna fucking produce. 
Yeah, you man. stick your dick in a hole and it comes out <laughs> somewhere else, like, and they do something to it's, it. That's what's gonna happen, it's man. A fu- it's a fucking. It's an interdimensional glory hole. <laughs> exactly. It's an interdimensional glory. hole. All right. So then that begs the question: if that's a if that's a thing, you stick your dick in there. It takes. Oh man, it, I don't know if I trust that enough, man. I was gonna say it takes trans the term transsexual to another like that's true because it, it's transitional in it's, the space time yeah. like, continuum. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's what the word. I yeah, it so just then, gave it a whole another with, meaning. If you stick your dick in a in a fucking like a wormhole, does that make you a trans dimensional sexual yeah, or interdimensional Jesus. sexual or like? Oh man, what if somebody's on the other end of it and? Never mind. I don't want to go down that road because I, I I was gonna make a joke and it it's not appropriate. <laughs> it's not appropriate. Oh man, those are the best kind though. Well, let's just say like you're on the older side, right? And somebody's yeah. on the younger side of the glory hole. Okay. Is that that, that I don't know, man? That's still illegal. Yeah. I don't know. Is that or is that still frowned upon? Yeah, because technically Schrodinger's uh, Schrodinger's cat comes into play because it's you know that's true. It, <laughs> it is and it isn't wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I don't know, man. Interdimensional <sighs> glory holes. We we invented it here first. Yeah, man. I just want to take credit for that. And if we if that happens, I really hope that the company that makes those would sponsor would do us a solid and sponsor this program. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, dude, because we, we a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Interdimensional glory holes. <laughs> I mean, because they have the KFC vagina, dude, right? They have yeah. the KFC vagina, but to make a space-time continuum, like, fucking fleshlight, dude? Oh, oh man. Fuck, man. Shit's wild, dude. That is some insane... I, we, we need to make money off of that. Well, anyways, I, I don't have anything else yet. I don't, I don't have anything else. Frank, did you have anything else? Nope. All right, well, that's good. I, I, we, clocked aliens. Out of, I clocked out of you talking about porn. Whatever, go fuck yourself. Aliens. Anyways, aliens at the end of the day. Quantum computing. Quantum computing. Interdimensional glory holes. You heard it all here. And goddamn, we made it an hour. So I only thought we were going to get like 30 minutes. Yeah, we were literally shooting for 30 minutes, and somehow we turned this into an hour, which has <laughs> like been our skill. I think that's something we're very leave, talented at. If I could leave at one interesting fact. Yeah, go ahead. In the year 1937, it cost $700 million and took four years to build a Golden Gate Bridge. Uh-huh. In the in the year 2023, it's going to cost us 400 million dollars and take six years to install uh, nets under the game, Golden Gate Bridge. Wow, that's ridiculous. What, what the fuck was that all about? I'm talking people, about suicide. People now? be killing themselves at the Golden Gate well, no, Bridge. They were just talking about like back then they were able to build that shit. It took them four years, but us adding nets is going to cost twice. It's going to cost more and take more time. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. To show how how bad we've fallen behind. Oh, how bad we have fallen. Like, you ever seen the arch? The St. Louis arch? Yeah. I mean, I've seen it. Uh, there's, You've been to the actual museum part of it? No, I've never been there. There's an actual fucking, uh, they have a thing saying, uh, people with education built Apollo, whatever, the one that blew up. Uh-huh. And it says, people with no education built the arch. I mean, what? That there was no engineers, no contractors. It was just... Literally blue collar workers that built the arch in it. Oh, I see. And it stands where the smartest men in the world built the uh, built the gotcha, shuttle that I blew gotcha. up. I gotcha. Yeah, that's true. But they're that's like apples and oranges. They're tr- they're trying to. I uh, know. I just think, I just thought it was they had the balls to actually fucking not only say that but memorialize it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's see those assholes build a space shuttle and see what happens. Exactly. But Where's your fucking space shuttle, huh? Cocksuckers. <laughs> I'm like saying, I, thought, I just thought it was funny, like. <laughs> That they don't have the balls to fucking say that. Yeah. Hey, Fuck, I. What, what would be like another example of saying something like that? Saying something. I inv- like- I invented the fucking tic tac toe, and you invented. Uh, oh, would you invent chess? What did you invent? Fucking modern warfare. Yeah. You bitch. What are you a fucking nerd? <laughs> fucking with all your computer numbers. No X's to, and O's, no, bitch. It would have to be something that was a catastrophic failure, and modern warfare ain't that. Catastrophic failure. Fuck. What would that be? So it'd be like, uh, like No Man's Sky or something like that. No Man's uh-huh. Sky versus uh versus Tic Tac Toe. Uh, what's that? You know the like the lunar landing game that was. Wasn't there like a lunar oh, landing Cur- game? Global you- Space Program or the one with the astronauts? Well, where you can use the chat to speech. No, no. There was like this old Microsoft game, like on I think it was on Windows ninety five, where you had like a. What was it called? The 
the pod that lands on the moon. Oh, the lunar lander. The lunar lander. You were supposed to land it like soft. Oh yeah, right? you were supposed to like. So it would be that versus adjust, no man's sky. Yeah. like the perfect countermeasures and stuff like that to yeah, make sure yeah, you yeah. land safe. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. It would be the St. Louis Arch compared to fucking... What was it? What was it? Was it the Discovery that blew up? I think up? it was the Challenger. Oh, the Challenger? I still remember when we were playing Apples to Apples. I think it was you, Adam, mm-hmm. when I had the subject uh, scenery or good scenery or something like that. And this motherfucker put down the Challenger explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I don't remember that, but that sounds funny. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, everybody was, You won. I, I, refused, <laughs> I refused to read any other cards because that was the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. All right, well, this one. is the true end of the podcast now. Yeah, so thanks for listening. Uh, follow us on Instagram and the TikTok, 8 Game Rage Magazine. and uh, Stick your dick in a, in in a, a interdimensional, interdimensional glory hole. <laughs> brought to you by the Central Unintelligence <laughs> Podcast. Available for sale on GameRageMagazine.com. Hell yeah. Only six easy payments of nineteen ninety five. Damn, maybe we should make a commercial about that. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> so great. So great. All right, thanks for listening. Fuck off. That was the latest episode of the Central Unintelligence Podcast. Don't forget, subscribe and like on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine. We're also on Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag. Also our website, www.gameragemagazine.com.